Who is the man marked by flames? Well, it is more and more obvious after this chapter 1081. In chapter 1066 Vegapunk tells Nico Robin about O'Hara after Matt's. Shocker reveals that he visited O'Hara after its destruction and encountered the giants led by a bandaged giant to save what's left of O'Hara's books and dragon who vowed to form an army to oppose the world government's tyranny. Then we have this chapter 1081 in which Aokiji in person mentions O'Hara's flashback and when asked about the man with a burned scar he talks about his marine ex-friend including the little Nico Robin. All these mentions and references to Jaguar D. Saul are so direct and precise. It got to be him. There was also a red pwn glyphs in O'Hara, the one missing to all the emperors, or he got it after that thanks to Dragon or his journey back to Elbaf. Ice burn not only can cause scars but even gangrene and amputation. Now the mystery to solve remains only this, why he can create vortex and what are the black ships he travels on. Here my theory and opinion is the following. He has no devil fruits powers but a companion, a mythical animal and beast that can produce these vortices in the sea. We must not forget that we do not know anything about Elbaf, Giant's Land, Saul's native land, but we met Dory and Brogi, which were living with Giant's dinosaurs, named their fighting moves after also these legendary animals. We know that in One Piece there are the famous sea kings controlled by Shirahoshi. A giant whale was and is Brook's best friend and companion. Sozuncha the ancient elephant species was a friend and comrade of Joy Boy. There are so many giant animals and companions of this kind in the One Piece universe that it is likely that Jaguar D. Saul has got one of these. What animal can be? I guess a sort of bird or giant dragon perhaps given to him exactly by Dragon the leader of revolutionaries who probably was his savior or so the black ships were given by him. My theory is not over yet, these black ships have a special meaning in Japanese history. The Kurafune, Edo period term, was the name given to western vessels arriving in Japan in the 16th and 19th centuries. On July 8, 1853, the U.S. Navy sent four warships into the bay at Edo and threatened to attack if Japan did not begin trade with the West. Their arrival marked the reopening of the country to political dialogue after more than 200 years of self-imposed isolation. It was the arrival of these black ships to end the Sokoku, the incredible Japanese isolationism lasted two centuries. So in one piece if Oda wants to follow this event these black ships and so Saul, his beast, and perhaps the revolutionary as well will be the ones in the end of the story to open up eventually W.A.N.O. Kuni borders to the world perhaps also thanks to those vortices which could be also made by dragon presence at the moment of Saul's rescue and return to Elbaf.